Hey guys, what's up? Um, thanks for coming back to my channel here. Um, if you're new, hi, hello, my name is Ty Tucker. Um, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload. I'm going to upload every Mondays and Fridays now. Today's going to be something different. Um, it's more of a vlog. I have been sick, and with this whole COV ID 19 going on, there's been people in my family that have been concerned, friends, myself, um, they want some clarification, they asked me for some symptoms, and like what I went through, and so I'm going to sit down today and discuss what's going on. I'm so sorry if I'm... Not my spunky self. Uh, hopefully I'll be over this soon. Uh, I finished my medication yesterday, so things should be getting better. I actually feel 90 times better today, so that's good. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right into this, I guess. So it all began March 14th. So the last day I worked was March 13th, which was a Friday. I started getting really sick that Friday night, so it was about 12 in the morning. I got really sick on the 14th, um, went to go to work, and then I was only there for about 15 minutes before I was pulled off the floor and sent home. Uh, at that time, my symptoms were a fever. My fever at that time, I believe, was 102. And then on top of it, I had body sweats, body chills. If you don't know the difference between those two, body sweats, well, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but it's when you're sweating profusely. Like, you can't stop sweating. And I had body chills, which was, I was extremely hot. Like, I felt super hot, but I was shaking because I was cold. Like, my body had goosebumps, but I was extremely hot. And then, uh, my headache, my migraine. That's when that started. And a runny nose. And a cough. I didn't think of anything, I was just like, oh, whatever, it's just the flu, or it's allergies. Usually I do get allergies. Um, when spring starts, and when summer ends, oh, like, okay, fall. <laughs> uh, between fall and winter is when my allergies start kicking in, and that's the same symptoms I have with allergies, or what I was going through. Um, so, about three days pass, and it's just getting worse. Worse and worse and worse. And at that time, that was Tuesday. Um, that was Tuesday, which was... the 17th but I had an appointment on Wednesday the 18th that I've already had booked and that was for blood work to get tested for um, just genetic things since I haven't been tested for it like kidney failure liver problems blood pressure um, thyroid check like all that jazz and before I could even, so my doctor has two doors. The first door you go into and it's like the restrooms and then you have your sanitizer there. It's kind of like a little, just a little entrance you go into, I guess. And then there's another set of doors that you go into the actual hospital after that. 
so I don't know you want to call that like a it's almost like a mud room in a house so you have like your front door and then you have like a mud room and then you have like your very door that you go into your house that's how it is with my my clinic anyways I went in and they had a nurse sitting there with a mask on asking you questions if you had any symptoms and I was like I mean yeah I have the symptoms but I'm I don't think I have anything and so she asked me all my symptoms and at that point my fever was at 103 when they took when they took it and so then she called in a nurse and the nurse swabbed me for COVID and let me tell you having a cotton swab down well down your throat but also up your nose down your nose I guess it would be down your nose, huh? I don't know. Either way. The throat one didn't bother me as much. But my nose, though, I was, like, twitching. Hardcore. Um, I should have known something right off the bat with this nurse. She just didn't seem very professional. Uh, anyway, so she swabbed me. She gave me a doctor's note that I have to be quarantined for 14 days with nobody over. I can't leave the house. And um, I can't go to work. And I know some of you people are going to be like, whoa, I see you on Snapchat. You went to somebody's house. I left the house twice, and I know I should not have. But I, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I did go to a friend's house. And I shouldn't have, but I did. Um... Other than that, I go to the grocery store because I am human and I need groceries too. And I live right next to Walmart and I need medication. That's the only ever time I leave the house too. Other than that, I went to a friend's house one time. And um, she said my test will come back within 24 to 72 hours. Before I go any further, no. If you go to an ER, Yes, it's 24 to 72 hours that you'll get the test results back. Now, if you go to a clinic, a clinic, those test results can take 10 to 14 days to come back. I didn't know that at the time, so I was like, whatever. So she sent me home, and 25 hours, like literally on the dot, later I get a phone call saying your test results came back you're negative for COVID. just stay put don't do anything um make sure you cover your mouth when you cough blah blah, blah. nothing didn't have me come back in didn't have me go over if i was feeling anything different didn't prescribe me anything like i mean i could have had strep or i could have had the flu and the flu is deadly if it gets to that point. Um, and I was like, okay, girl, whatever. Like, all right, I see you. And then I was supposed to be cleared to go back to work on the 23rd or the 24th. Just kidding. The 25th. That following Wednesday. Because <laughs> that would have been two weeks. Because I was, I was originally sick on the 13th which also doesn't make sense to me because that's not two weeks that's that's only 12 days um that i was that i could have had the virus and so i called my doctor i was like hey i'm still feeling like crap if not worse i'm supposed to be cleared to go back to work and i told them what was going on and they asked me if i got tested and i was like well yeah, I came into the clinic because I was supposed to have my blood work done. And I got tested right before I could even come in. And they're like, oh, yeah, that nurse does not work here no more. That nurse was giving false statements. Um, so apparently she was not sending out the tests or wasn't actually doing the tests when she said she was doing the tests or... 
Um, I don't know the full thing, but um, she doesn't work there no more. So, this is where it gets juicy. So I was like, I'm just not feeling good. Like, I don't know what's going on, you guys. Like, I mean, I've had strep and I've had bronchitis. I've had mono, like, I've had heart surgery. I have, well, procedure. And I've never felt like this. Like, I feel like I'm literally dying. Like, my body is shutting down. And, uh, so I talked to my doctor and he was like, I want you to go down to our drive-up clinic. Our drive-up clinic, they will do, um, testings. And he, so I went down there and, um, I had the option to do my testing. Um, and I said yes, but they asked me if I've been tested for anything else, and I said no, like, this other nurse, she didn't even, she tested me, but didn't do anything else. And they go, well, have you been tested for strep? And I said no, like, I haven't been tested for nothing. Like, all I know is I'm dying. <laughs> and so she looked in the back of my throat, and she says that I don't have any white spots, which is one of the signs of strep. Um, and she said, with all of my symptoms, I need to go in to the clinic and go get x-rays done. And I was like, okay, I don't know what this all means. But they, apparently when they were taking my vitals, my oxygen was pretty low. Um, anything below 96, you guys, is not good. My oxygen was, at that time, it was 94. Um... The first time it was 92 when I went in, the first time, a week prior. And then this last time, it was 94. And uh, they listened to my lungs and they wanted me go in. And so I went into the clinic and they did some x-rays and they found out that I had pneumonia. Uh, the fun fact about this was I was taking ibuprofen for the first week up until I went in recently, last Wednesday. Um, yeah, I went in on the 25th. So one, two, three, four, five, five days ago is when I stopped taking ibuprofen. Um, if you don't know this, ibuprofen and Advil can take COVID-19 to pneumonia, which could be even more scary. So... The doctor didn't test me for COVID. Instead, she said, um, there is a really high chance that you had it. Uh, I'm so sorry that the nurse there at the time didn't accurately prescribe you or nothing. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I understand. That's fine. Um, so they're was saying that uh, me taking my ibuprofen up until that time progressed it into pneumonia. So finally I got some help. I was prescribed um, medication that you take for five days, I want to say. Yeah, is that right? Four days. Yes, because I just finished my last pill yesterday. Yeah, four days. So the first day you take two pills and then you take one pill after that and they literally taste like crap and they make you cough even more because it is getting rid of all the mucus out of your lungs apparently um <coughs> so at this point it is now day 17 i believe yeah day 17 of uh, feeling like a uh, total shit and finally had answers um i'm just saying wash your damn hands stay inside as much as you guys want to be around people you don't know who that person's been around you don't know who that person's been to where they've been um you could easily just, just, you could easily catch it just going to someone else's house or having them come over to your house. Uh, 
at the time, I didn't take this seriously. <laughs> I actually thought it was a big joke. And, um, I just thought it was the government trying to scare us into something and it not being serious, which it is. Cool. Uh, so I'm not saying that I had, that I have COVID. I'm not a doctor, but I do know for a fact that I have pneumonia, which if you roll back the tape, taking ibuprofen or Advil can lead COVID-19 to pneumonia. Fun. Um, today is day two of no fever, um, no body chills. And body aches. I still do have a sore throat, scratchy throat. I have a really runny nose. <laughs> um, my headache usually is just in the mornings now, so that's good. And my cough is progressively staying steady. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, it's it comes and goes. Yesterday, I didn't have a cough until later at night. Today, I woke up with a cough. And um, body sweats, they only happen at night. Like, now I'm, I only, I wake up middle of the night drenched. And sweat. And body chills, not so much. Well, yeah, kind of. No, not really. I don't know. Sometimes. But the major thing now that I'm going through is just my cough, my sore throat, and my runny nose. My body sweats. So, you know, everything in the dictionary. Cool. <laughs> I'm still not able to go to work, but fortunately I am lucky enough to work for the best company that I've actually probably worked for. Um, and they have had me on um, a paid leave since this all started, so since the 14th, I have been getting paid my normal hours, my normal wages for um, not being there. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, they've been very helpful with everything and they are starting to rule out working from home, which is also great. So Just wanted to get on here and let you guys know a little bit of an update and to please take this seriously. Um, I don't have any immune issues, but I do get sick um, if my allergies overtake my body, which sounds weird. Um, I haven't had strep or bronchitis or mono since I was 17, but... Um, I get the common cold every now and then, but usually I can kick it off with uh, emergency and staying hydrated. Um, but I do, I did have a heart procedure, like I said, back in fourth grade. That still gives me some issues every now and then. Uh, nothing too serious though, so don't comment below. Oh my god, you should go get checked. I'm fine. I'm a Libra, so I'm definitely a hypochondriac when stuff like this happens. But I never, I rarely ever go to the doctor, though. That's the thing. Um, and I didn't even go to the doctor to get tested. I originally went to the doctor because I had um, a scheduled appointment for blood work. Just because I needed it. It was an annual thing that I haven't had. And... Uh, one thing led to another, and I still have yet to take the blood work test. So, party. Um, but yeah, you guys, stay safe out there, please. Um, wash your hands. Wear a mask, even if you're not coughing. I know they don't look very fashionable, but wearing a mask is more fashionable than coughing your lungs out in public and being stared at. Um... Know who you're around. 
try not to be around anybody outside your house. I know everybody keeps saying that, you guys, but this is serious. So, yeah, stay healthy, do your thing. Don't take any of my words, because who am I? I'm nobody, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's literally all I have for today. I'm probably not going to edit this at all. This is going to be a straight cut video. It's 20 minutes of me rambling on. So that's fun. Anyways, <coughs> that was fun. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I know a lot of you guys wanted an update, so I just needed to make another YouTube video. And so why not update you guys on here? Uh, Fridays is going to be probably another vlog video. Um, anyways, yeah, before I keep going on about nonsense, <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I pray that everybody is staying safe and no one does catch it with an immune deficiency. Um, it is very deadly. I personally know two people that are positive with it. Um, not nobody that's died though, but in my state, I believe there has been six deaths. Either way, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay safe. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, uh, follow me on my other social media. I'll link that down below. And yeah, thanks guys. Bye.